Today's video is going to be a super fun one. My cousin Debbie, Debbie Tong, which if you have not heard me talk about her before, then you must be fairly new to my channel. And if so, welcome. I'm glad you're here and I hope you will want to stick around and subscribe and enjoy yourself and just, yeah, have fun with me. And, um, but anyway, Debbie, <laughs> or you might be from Debbie's channel and are coming over to my channel. So thank you so much for being here and same thing, welcome. I hope that you'll want to subscribe and stick around. So um, Debbie had this great little idea. We had done, uh, it's been quite some time now. I will link it up here in case you guys are interested in going back and checking it out if you haven't seen it before. Um, we had done a video where our husbands picked out our makeup for us. And um, she had sent me a palette that we decided we would both use and we had our husbands pick which colors we were going to use and then our other makeup as well. Well, my husband, he had some fun with that, let's just say. But so um, she had an idea this time um, to use two profusion palettes that we each had. I She had sent me the Spectrum palette way back and then I sent her the Emeralds palette just after Christmas time and or right around Christmas time. And so since we both had these, she's like, why don't we take both of those palettes and have our husbands pick three shades from each palette for us to do a look with? And I'm like, Debbie, do you remember what Brian did to me last time? I think she did. And that's why she wanted to do this. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, also, I just want to address I have some space buns going because Debbie is the queen of space buns. She has the most amazing hair and does the cutest stuff with it. And I have never in my life attempted space buns. And I was like, today, Debbie, this is for you. So I hope that you enjoy it. I hope I did you proud here. Um, please ignore my glistening grays that need to be dealt with. But other than that, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pop out some space buns here today to uh, celebrate Debbie. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and cut over to a video where I had my husband choose the colors. Um, I would like to preface this by saying he does not love being on camera. It is not something he enjoys doing, but he will do pretty much whatever I ask him to do because he's amazing. And so, um, yeah, so if he seems a little nervous or uncomfortable, it's because he is and he doesn't totally love it, but he loves me and so he'll do it for me. So give him a little, in the comments, give him a little shout out for being such a sweetheart and um, supporting me like that, would ya? All right, check out what he picked for me. Okay, so this is Debbie's idea. Her husband is doing the same for her. So with the Profusion Spectrum palette, which looks like this, and the Emeralds, which looks like this. And so Brian has to choose three shades from each palette for me to use in a look. So I'll have six shades total okay. that he chooses. So you wanna go with the Spectrum first? All right, we're gonna start off with the Spectrum. <laughs> um, ooh, these are nice. These are nice. They are um, nice. All right. I'm going to go with Bermuda. Okay, show it to me though, because I'm going to just do it by numbers. Right. Okay, so Blue one color right there. We're going to go with Beet, which is orange, which orange I think will really complement the blue all right, all right. and um mm, i'm kind of feeling the uh feeling the peacock down here okay so that's number six all right. all right so that is from the spectrum not as scary as i thought you were gonna do for me all right. and then here we go with the emeralds emeralds all right hmm Ooh, this how about some lovely fern that's ferns color. are beautiful. Ferns are beautiful. And um, <laughs> I feel like radioactive. Ooh, can you sing it for us? No. Um, hmm. So then I think we're going to go with the meadow. Going meadow. Okay, what number is that? I have no idea. Ten, I think? Or no. Nine. Nine. How do you tell? Oh, Because I'm just doing, yeah. I gotcha. You were so much nicer to me than I thought you were going to be. That was nice. How, how do you be? I mean, they're all weird. Well, those are, but yeah. I could have given with, you russet. I could have made what's you in be this a, potato. a potato. I know, but I like that color, actually. But it would be weird with certain things. So I think I might be able to actually do something. Well, I say that. We'll see. When I actually put the colors by each other, we'll see what happens. So thank you for right. not 
quite sabotaging me like it did the last time Debbie and I had. I didn't know if I was sabotaging you or not, to be honest. Yeah, so it wasn't that you were really being nice. It's just Radioactive fern doesn't sound good, honestly. (laughs) Radioactive fern. If you're good with it, then so am I. All right. Well, thanks, Brian. No problem. Love you. Mm, Love you, too. So (laughs) this is what I am working with here. So it's going to be a green, orange, blue look. (laughs) And I have no idea what I'm going to do. So... This is just going to be fun. We're going to do this together, see what happens, see what I come up with. I literally have not thought about this at all because I kind of think it's more fun with collab things like this to not come in with a total idea in my head of what I'm going to do. Like the spontaneity of it makes it more fun because I think it's fun to see what you can come up with on the fly, you know? And I am not an expert at makeup by any means. So this could be really amazing. (laughs) So Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to speed through the look kind of thing, cut back between the eyes and stuff, um, and then come in and kind of talk to you about Debbie a little bit and all that good kind of stuff, and just, you know, make this a little something interesting to watch, hopefully, so that you're not bored, because the key is for this to be fun. And Debbie's amazing and super fun, and so I know you're going to love her, and so I hope you'll enjoy my video as much as hers. So let's just do this. Somewhere new And I Try to crack this iceberg open Till it shatters through the ocean I, I wanna make shockwaves I wanna make shockwaves with you Can I move the ocean current Till the waves flood what's been burning I wanna make shockwaves I wanna make shockwaves with you And I know I'm Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and then we will come back to finish the eyes and talk about Debbie and all that good stuff. Okay, I'm like laughing because my shirt and earrings and stuff do not go with the eye look that I'm doing. I was just like, oh great, it's neutral and so with the colors it should work out good. But it's like a really edgy kind of look that's happening and this not so much, like more classic, (laughs) you know, whatever. (laughs) All right, so let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. So I think I'm going to take, hmm, I do want to get that orange just a little bit more saturated, I guess is the word I'm saying, or looking for, trying to say. There we go. Um, So I just want to tap a little more of that in there. I like what's happening here. It's almost like a watercolor kind of 
I never would have pictured that this would be the way I would do these colors, but you know what? That's what's fun about makeup. You just play and you see what happens. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. So we'll see once we get to the end here, if it's good or not. <laughs> okay, so now for underneath, I am going to take that metal shade which is the last shade that I used. And I just used it right here because I kind of knew I was gonna run it underneath. So that is what I'm gonna do with that. So let's do it. So for those of you who don't know, Debbie is my second cousin. She lives in Kansas, I live in Michigan. We have not seen each other in at least 20 years. Um, and we really reconnected through social media, which has been amazing and it's so much fun it's fun to be able to you know get to see each other and get to do things like this together that I never would have imagined doing that's something that's really cool about social media and the internet being able to bring people together and you know it's good if you use it for good so let's do that right and um but yeah Debbie and I have a lot of fun laughing about different things my great grandma was her grandma and um she seriously was like one of the most amazing women ever so funny so kind-hearted and sweet um my husband and i were just best friends like you know growing up and stuff and when she was here she lived in kansas so debbie gets to see her way more than me <laughs> but um when she would come here the one time she was staying at our house and Brian, you know, came over a couple times and stuff. And she's like, Danielle, you're going to marry that boy someday. And I was like, Grandma, he is my best friend. And she's like, you're going to marry that boy. And I did. And she was there. And that was amazing. So she was just, she had a serious love for Jesus that she, you know, shared with all of her kids and grandkids and great grandkids. And um, then my son Gavin was a great great for her and um so that was amazing so we have pictures of you know me my mom my mom's mom and then my grandma because she was my mom's mom's mom <laughs> and um yeah so pretty awesome you know with our, my son Gavin and stuff being her great great grand and um yeah so that is kind of how Debbie and I are connected um I very briefly remember seeing her when I went to Kansas when I was nine with my grandma and my aunt. And um, I remember I stepped on, they had like rocks. I don't know if we were at her house or if she was, I feel like we were. Um, but there were like, there was like gravel, like rocks in the driveway. And I stepped on one and like embedded in my heel and my aunt had to like pry it out. Um, so that was interesting. But I do remember that. But she had a friend over when I was there. And I remember just feeling like... Because Debbie's a year older than me. And so, you know, when you're younger, like, anyone older is pretty cool. And so it's like, there's my cool cousin Debbie, but she's got a friend over. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, and then I step on a rock, you know. How uncool of me. But pretty awesome that we share, um, you know, these awesome family things. So I love that. All right. I'm going to now run. Am I? What am I gonna do? What are you up to, Danielle? Um, I think I am going to go ahead and take the one shimmer shade he gave me, which is radioactive right here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corners, but I think I'm gonna run it underneath too. Let's just see what that does. Um, and then Debbie came to Michigan one time and I remember going to my aunt's house where she was staying and visiting, but I don't remember a whole lot about it. Um, so yeah, we have not had, you know, much time actually together. Yeah, I feel like I know her and she knows me and like that we actually have a ton in common. We are a lot alike, um, which I'm sure some of that is just, you know, familial um, traits and things like that. And, um, like I said, my grandma was 
a Christian, a lover of Jesus, and Debbie and I both are as well. So that's like the most amazing legacy you can leave behind. So I'm so thankful that we share that. Oh, this is fun. Um, what I'm doing here, this is fun for me. <laughs> um, now, Debbie is the queen of glitter. She's the queen of space buns, of cool hair color, of glitter. She's pretty much just cool, okay? And um, so I'm sure she's going to do something with glitter that's just going to be awesome. And, you know, that's just, that's just how it goes. Okay. So I think that is what I'm doing there. So I'm going to do my liner and lashes and put on a lip. And then we'll come back and see the finished look. Okay, guys, here is the finished look. I think this might be my most favorite kind of funky look that I've ever done, to be honest with you. And I can't believe how awesome my husband did at picking out these colors. Because he's like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm just, you know, randomly picking stuff, which is exactly what he was supposed to do. But um, I think this is so fun. So I'm waving this around because this is the eyeliner I used. It's the ColourPop. Um... Puppy is the name of the liner, and I used it in my lower lash line because it is perfect with that orange that's up top. Colored liners are my jam. If you don't know, I love them. Um, but yeah, so here are my colors, and here is how they ended up on my eyes. So let me come up close and show you the look. What do you think? What do you think? I'm glad I decided to run the gold underneath like that. I think that was fun, like put it there and underneath. I like that I just used that one shade, you know, underneath and kind of brought it up on the corners. Again, this is a fun, funky look. It's not an everyday, I mean, it is if that's what you like, but you know, whatever. I just, I really wanted to have fun with this. And on my lips, I used the Sweat n Wild um, liner and it is in the shade, I always say, no, it is Willow. I'm like, I always say Willow and that's not it. It is what it is. So that's not what I typically say. And then this um, Too Faced Sunday Fun Day lipstick over top of it. So that is my lip. And I felt like it went really good for this eye look. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so fun. And I did realize too, I always say liner and lashes, which does not mean fake lashes for me. It means mascara. Um, Debbie is also amazing with fake lashes. And I've been trying to wear them a little more often, but still not there yet, guys. Still not there. But um, yeah, so this is, I have a mirror here. That's why you'll see me looking over because I keep checking out what the look ended up looking like. And it is so much fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. And um, if you don't know Debbie, if you have not gone over and seen the magic of Debbie yet, I hope that you will because she is a genuinely amazing human being. She is beautiful inside and out. She is a sweetheart. She has been through some major, major struggles in her life. And she is like... She's such an inspiration because not only does she fight her way through them, but she tries to help other people too who are going through things or help them realize that like, um, you know, when you get down and things seem like everything just bad is happening to you and things like that, like that's not, that's not the end. And there are, are always things to be thankful for and grateful for and to find beauty in. And she does that. And like I said, she tries to help other people do that as well. Um, and so I think that's such an amazing thing about her. And just one of the amazing things about her, to be honest, because she's just, wait till you see her. If you don't, if you know, you know. And if you don't, you're going to love her because she's just bubbly and fun. And I absolutely adore her. And so thank you, Debbie, for asking me to do this. I hope that you like my look and my space ones I did for you. And um, yeah, this was so much fun. Probably like definitely one of my most favorite collabs I've ever done. Like I really, really enjoyed this. So now I can't wait to go see what Marty, her husband, picked for her and what she did with it. And like I said, I'm sure glitter is involved because Debbie, Debbie doesn't, I said Debbie, Debbie. Debbie doesn't do much without glitter, okay? She's she's a glitter girl, and I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.